Hi, peace and blessings. I'm Giovanna, the spiritual love healer, and we are continuing our journey to tune into the frequency of love in 2020. So over the past few days, I've been sharing tips, um, tools, practices that can really help you to release whatever may be keeping you from truly opening your heart and welcoming love into your life. And so today I want to talk about something that um, has kind of come up for me and um, it's all about loyalty and I chose loyalty as my word for 2020 um, because after doing a lot of reflection and um, my own personal work I realized I haven't been loyal to myself and so I started thinking about like well how did that happen and and why didn't I realize, right? And I think it's really because we're not taught to put ourselves first. From very early ages, we're taught that, you know, we have to share, we have to give to others, even to our own demise. And I remember I shared a post a couple years ago on um, my Facebook page saying like, I don't teach my children to share. Um, so for one, let's think about like when you're a little kid, right? And there's like a little toddler who's playing with their favorite stuffed animal and then their cousin comes over and they want the stuffed animal. So the mom or dad is like, oh, share with your cousin. And they're like, no, like this is like my absolute favorite thing. And so then their favorite thing is ripped out of their hands and given to someone else. That's actually not really sharing. That's the opposite of sharing right sharing comes from the heart sharing is oh look there's my cousin i want to share this awesome toy that i love so much with them or you know i don't really want them to play with this i'm gonna go put this up and we can play with something else but i just think that we're always forced to give of ourselves to give of our resources for someone else's enjoyment or betterment and that does us a great disservice. And, um, you know, even thinking about, you know, bringing up lack, um, because that has a big impact on our thought process and our relationships. If you're forcing, you know, children to share, and I know this is like an extreme example, but it's also developing in them a lack mentality. When someone comes around, I'm going to have less. When someone comes around, I'm not going to be able to enjoy what I have. And so we out the gate are kind of embodying this energy of, um, of lack. And that's where the, I guess, shadow side of selfishness occurs. And we get into, you know, I'm going to be selfish and it's going to be all about me because if I'm not, it's going to get taken from me. And so... When we look at it as adults and we start to think about um, being loyal to ourselves and you know self-love and really putting ourselves first, it's hard because we were always taught not to do that. No matter how you felt, sometimes you had to get up and go do things for your parents. No matter how you felt, you had to show up. No matter how you felt, you had to share your favorite thing with someone. And so no matter how it felt, we put other people before us. We put their ideas, their opinions, their thoughts, their needs, their wants before us. And in a relationship, especially like a toxic or manipulative relationship, that truly robs you of your energy. It robs you of, you know, your resources, your emotions. You become drained. And that's where we get into... Um, you know, feeling closed off to love, feeling um, that love is not a beautiful thing because what we've experienced hasn't truly been love. It's been, um, I don't want to say people trying to get a come up off of the idea of love, but that's another topic to, to, to talk about. But it's not love. It's more of being in servitude in an unloving manner, if that makes sense. And so for me, when I looked back at my life over the past year, over the past decade, and just in general, I realized how much of myself, you know, that 
I had to give away before I could even give to myself. And of course, you know, some of these were choices that I made myself. Um, and then sometimes it's just habit. It's just ingrained in, oh, I have to take care of this person before I can take care of me. I feel like crap, so I got to show up at work even though, you know, I, I don't feel like it. I have a headache. I don't feel good, right? Our society, <laughs> and I'm laughing at the, the work response because, you know, and I think that's one of the things I put in my post after um, really sitting with the energy that I want to bring into my life for 2020. And I just thought about, you know, being loyal to these jobs and, you know, trying to build my career and being let go. Like I was laid off from so many jobs in between the time period when the economy kind of collapsed. Like it was laughable. And um, I always knew that I had something to do. Like I had a mission. I knew that working for someone was not going to be it for me because I would burn out so fast. After about a year, I would have already moved up into some different role. And then I'm like, what's next? Like what's next? <laughs> and so, you know, if you think about where do your loyalties lie? We talk about, oh, I'm loyal to my mate. I'm loyal to, you know, my family. I got my best friend. I got their back. La, 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 la. But when do you come in the picture? When do you realize that you are first loyal to yourself? And when I say being loyal to yourself, I don't mean that you go on an ego trip and, you know, you become this egotistical maniac. But what I do mean is that you're loyal to yourself to the point that you will no longer settle. You will no longer disrespect yourself. You will no longer dishonor your boundaries. Um, you will honor your word, your worth, your goals, your values, the things that you feel are important to you. That's what being loyal to yourself means. It doesn't mean, you know, trust no one. Like, I'm out here. It's me against the world. And... I'm, I got to do what I got to do to make it. That's not what I'm talking about. Um, but what I am talking about is that you are so focused and so dedicated to loving yourself, to honoring yourself, to achieving your goals, to reaching your dreams, that you don't get sidetracked by other people's thoughts, other people's opinions, other people's agendas. Um, you don't get sidetracked by unfulfilling toxic relationships. You get yourself into a space where you are the center of your own universe. And so when I was thinking about this, right, um, it kind of ties into astrology a little bit. The sun is always the center of the universe, right? And then all of the planets, they do their thing. But the sun is always the sun. You are always supposed to shine and when you're loyal to yourself that allows you to shine no matter what is happening around you like you are anchored in to yourself you are anchored in to your beliefs and in being loyal to yourself that also means what are these thoughts that I'm thinking like are these even my thoughts are these things that I learned you know from my parents from my upbringing are these things that I learned in hurtful relationships um, and am I carrying that with me or am I just knowledgeable and wise from the lessons that they taught me? So being loyal to yourself is also, you know, being loyal to the changes that it is going to take for you to show up and be who you want to be so that you can call in the love that you desire and deserve. Because oftentimes we become loyal to the struggle. And like, that's why and I used to say that all the time. The struggle is real. The struggle. No, it's not. The struggle is an illusion and it's time to unchain ourselves from the struggle love, from being in love limbo, from using love as a come up, from using love because we feel empty to, you know, signing up for ride or die love, from over giving without replenishing ourselves, from being in these non-reciprocal relationships. It's time for that to stop. And until you tune yourself in to a new frequency, you're going to continue to play the same stories and situations over and over. So what do you want to be loyal to? Do you want to be loyal to your past or do you want to be loyal to your future? 
And so when I think about like tuning into the frequency of love, you know, like on the radio, you can turn the dial or press the button and you can move the frequency and you can tune into a different radio station. That's what we're doing. We're not trying to play those sad love songs, my achy breaky heart, you know, I should have cheated. <laughs> you know, we're not we're not listening to the sad, sappy love songs. It's time to turn the dial to something real, to some of those old school jams, you know, that old school love, that um that real love, that deep soulful love of ourselves and other relationships and really really truly be intentional about where our loyalties lie in 2020 so that is it for today um you can find me over at the spiritualovehealer.com i offer intuitive healing sessions tarot readings and spiritual life and love coaching and I would love to support you in 2020 to help you reach your relationship goals. And um, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.